2K Sports presents the NBA Monday Night Basketball is coming right up. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Detroit Pistons going up against the Toronto Raptors. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. And from the sideline, David Aldridge. So let's take a look at the Toronto Raptors starting lineup. Big men in the floor for him. It's Siakam and Pirtle. OG Anobi is out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Barnes in at the three, the small forward. And for the Pistons, sliding into the wing spots, it's Ivy and Thompson. Duran out there with Isaiah Stewart. And it's Cunningham in at the point. Hey, Brent, early on in this season, teams still ironing out some of the kinks. What exactly are they working on at this point? Well, one of the things you're working out is to find out if your scheme fits your personnel. If so, how do you build on that? And then how do you distribute the minutes to the guys who are going to play those roles on your team? You know what you love seeing from Pascal Siakam is his confidence continuing to grow. And Kevin, especially when it comes to scoring, Pascal understands how valuable he is to his team and how much they lean on him to step up on that end. Throw good, Siakam. Oh, G.A., the long arms and athleticism up and down this roster for the Raptors. It is something. Yeah, they, they have a type that they're looking for. Blocks, steals, deflections, all coming in bunches. The activity will be there. He's off on the second. A big man who can score, rebound, and pass. This is why Siakam has become a huge piece of this team. And so Ananobi will bring it up for Toronto. This game against Detroit here, it's their first meeting of the season. And they rolled over this team last season, beating them every time they faced off. Yeah, it was a completely one-sided season series, and that was no surprise to anyone. This first game between them should give us an idea if they're on a little more even ground this season. Good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the D thinking jump shot, gave a little pump fake, and then off to the races. 13 feet away, and that's good for two. He's such a strong offensive player. Schroeder is capable of knocking down some mid-range shots if you give him some room. Cunningham up top. He's guarded by Schroeder. Cunningham against Schroeder. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Shot clock at six. Here's Thompson. And Pirtle is very passionate on defense. So good at throwing a hand up in the face of score. And finished off by Siakam. Traditionally, that's how you want to finish the break, right at the rim. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. I tell you, he's playing the game with pure excitement right now. He kept off that dunk with some serious end time on the rim. Now, here's Schroeder. He had 15 points last out. And the foul called on OG Ananobi. That is his first foul of the game. And really, just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Here in the first quarter, with about two minutes gone by, Schroeder against Cunningham. Stewart in the corner. Now, here's Ivy. Six on the shot clock. And Pirtle sends it back. And you got to give appreciation to how Pirtle punishes shooters. A dynamite shot blocker with impeccable timing. Time out, time out. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. 
And the Pistons decide to take their first timeout right here. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. And the Pistons, an entirely new group now out there. And then for Toronto, Achua, he's checked in for Siakam. McDaniels comes in for Barnes. And Trent subbed in for OG Ananobi. Now, here's Burks. His last outing, he had 18 points. Hayes, the pass to Bagley. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Precious Achua. Well, when he's looking to score, Bagley becomes a lot more of a problem. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for the Raptors. And guys, I love the movement. Doing a great job of just getting the ball on a string, oh, creating a some opportunities. Two shots. Well, I want to add also the damage that has been done on the inside. It's a lot of rubble in there, but they're continuing to go right at the defense. And that one misses. And with Marvin Bagley the third, Brent, it just feels like he's been snake bitten in his young career. Yeah, but Greg, you know this. If you can hang in there and stay confident, you, know, you get a second chance. And with that second chance, maybe this opportunity for Marvin Bagley is going to be the one where we can show that talent. Remember, second overall pick back in 2018. And the second free throw, good. And the game Bagley has reminds me a, a little bit of Chris Bosh, a sweet lefty who plays with force and passion. Now here's McDaniel. Back to Schroeder. Trent against Burks. Takes the 13-footer. Bagley with the rebound. And so it's Burks bringing it up now for Detroit. Trailing by four. This game coming on the heels of their win against Chicago. Yeah, in that game, the offense was firing on all cylinders, partly because the other team's defense was a no-show. Yeah, with the defense struggling like that, I think they just stayed with a healthy, consistent pace to get that win. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Well, that mid-range J usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. And here's Harris from the arc. Drills it from outside. Well, Killian Hayes is a PG, and he's got vision. So you get open, he'll find you. Trent outside. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Raptors lead by one. Live from Little Caesars Arena, you're watching 2K Sports. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. What do you guys think about the Raptors here in this one? Well, their effort on the defensive end has set the tone for this game. Yeah, defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. And Greg, when they talk about youth development, the days are gone when coaches divided guards and bigs when it comes to skill work. When, when did that change? It, it's kind of a recent development, maybe the last 10 or 15 years. 
but it's amazing how the game has evolved. Guard spots filled by Cunningham and Ivy. Isaiah Stewart out there with Thompson. And it's Duran in at the center, filling out the middle. That's the group for Detroit right now. Now, here's Thompson. That's tipped. They get it back. And another shot. Siakam looking around. Pass to Schroeder. Back to Siakam. Tries from 10. Here's Coloco. And there's the bucket. Staying with it on the offensive glass. Getting it done. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Yeah, a natural score. Ivy is developing into a tremendous playmaker. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. And you look at Jaden Ivy, Brent. First of all, he gives you great size in the backcourt. Well, what anybody guarding him would tell you, Kevin, is he brings unreal athleticism. His first step is lightning quick. Now, here's Hananobi. Hasn't made That's one great. yet. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. That's their first of the game, though, so sharp passing has helped them to craft this lead. The Pistons trailing. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Here's Stewart. And no good, had a chance to take the lead there. Well, a lot of players in the league are gonna make that shot, and for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. Well, the D's so tight on him, it makes him alter his shot. And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. The Raptors have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Kevin. Toronto has a new head coach in Darko Rajakovic. He started coaching at 16 in his home country of Serbia. So even though he's still young, he's already a lifer. In his near decade as an NBA assistant coach, he made a name for himself in player development. And of course, Kevin, that's going to be essential now with the rebuilding Raptors. It is, but I love his resume. His story is terrific. He is just what they need. David, thank you. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Hey, Brent, looking at the Pistons franchise, the rebuild process has been a long one. Yeah, it's been over 10 years, Kevin, since this team has won their last playoff game. But you do have to be excited about the level of talent that these young guys have. And really, compartmentally, they fit together. So that streak is going to come to an end soon. And it's tied up with that one. And Brent, you look at Detroit, from a raw talent perspective, they're loading up well. Absolutely. They're, they're pretty well balanced between what they give you on the perimeter and some of the interior force that these guys could play with, adding pieces each year in the draft, and now it's about fitting those pieces together. They have a very bright future. Sasser. A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And Wiseman just has that great rebounding range to be in there and make something happen for a second chance bucket. Passes to Young. Here's on an open from the arc. Wiseman with the rebound. Now here's Hayes, defended by Trent. Bagley with the bucket. Well, Bagley bringing it right now and taking his frame and presenting it for contact. Barnes looking around. Here's Young. Great D that time from Bagley. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And that one's good, Barnes. 32 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Pass to Thompson. And Detroit again with the bucket. 
26 seconds left in the first half of the game. Trent outside. There's 14 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Shot clock at five. From deep three-point land. That shot off the mark. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. The Pistons on top, up by four. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It was a closely contested first quarter for Detroit. They stayed within arm's reach in that opening period. Five points, their largest deficit. They had a very good second quarter, currently holding a four-point advantage at halftime. Kenny, what's your take on Detroit so far? Great work on the glass so far. They're hustling and showing more desire than boxing out. That's what they have to do. That's the recipe for success. Shaq, let's get your insight on Toronto. Well, their reserves haven't contributed much. Finally, Ashley started to do the heavy lifting, but don't leave them out in the cold. I think this could easily become a bigger issue as the game goes on. And that's a wrap for our halftime show, the third quarter, just about to get started. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Detroit leading by four. So the Raptors five right now. Barnes and Siakam will slot in at the small and power forward. Dennis Schroeder is out there with OG Ananobi. And it's Pirtle in at the five spot. Back to Thompson and stolen by Barnes. Here's the break. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And right there, you see the impact of Siakam's length. So tough to defend once he gets to his spot. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And one outstanding things the Raptors do, Greg, they really protect the ball. Yeah, even when they're not playing their best, they don't give away games with mistakes. They force you to find other ways to beat them. Good on both. Here we see the Detroit Pistons, Greg, a franchise known for stifling defense. And going back to back with the bad boys, then the amazing 2004 title team that shut down Shaq and Kobe. When the Pistons have been great, they've had that defense first mentality. Now, here's Ananobi following the miss by Kate Cunningham. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ananobi. That's, that's tough because that one's preventable. The defense has nothing to do at all with that turnover. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. A two-point game. The pass to Cunningham. Back to Thompson. Cunningham looking it over. Six to shoot. Fires from 14. Count the basket. Cunningham's got the lead up to four now for the Pistons. And Cade really navigating that pick and roll to perfection. Hurdle finds Ananobi. He takes it in. The rebound by Ivy. The Pistons shooting just 39% from the field, struggling to find that net. Shot from 12. Here's Durant. Good on the shot. 
Now it's a six point Detroit lead. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Now here's Barnes. Hurdle inside. Second shot opportunity. Duran pulls it in. Duran's got four rebounds now tonight. And they start the second half with three straight misses. And Thompson kicks to Ivy. It's rebounded by Scotty Barnes. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Oldham. David. Thank you, Kevin. These days, the ball is in Pascal Siakam's hands. He says it means everything. Being on the ball just gives you a better rhythm. I don't think it's hard. It's just something you grow into. I have those images in my head of where I want to get to. Now, defenses often look to double, and he said, if I played me, I would do that too. Kevin? <laughs> All right, David, thank you. Now here is Harris, following the miss by Scotty Barnes. No one covered. Harris has got five. Raptors trail by eight. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Frank gets the bucket. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Here's Cunningham. Gary Trent Jr. making his last shot. Cunningham. Here's Durham. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Siakam finds Schroeder. To Siakam. And a chance now to look at the schedule for the Raptors. On Monday, they'll tip off a homestand starting with the Portland Trailblazers. Then on Wednesday, they'll be matching up against Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks. Good, Siakam. A different look here for Detroit. Wiseman comes in for Isaiah Stewart. And Hayes subbed in for Cunningham. Both shots good from the strike. Pistons leading by six. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Here's Hayes. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Siakam's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Trent. Rebound, Detroit. And here's Burks. No scoring in this one. Good work defensively by Trent. Raptors trail by six. Here's McDaniels. And finished off by McDaniel. A heady play there from Schroeder, zipping the pass to the teammate who had the cleanest look on the possession. Here's Hayes. Shoots over Schroeder. Detroit, no good that time either. And we've reached the end of the third. Pistons lead by four. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. They've got James Wiseman. Harris is out there with Durham. Then there's Jaden Ivey. And it's Sasser in at the one. That's the five on the four for the Pistons. 
Pistons leading by four. Ivy on the wing. Here's Sasser. He's guarded by Schroeder. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for the Pistons? They're looking to attack and transition every time down the floor. Just wearing the defense thin at this point. And another difference maker that we could point to tonight has been second chance points. They've been in there. They've had active hands. They've been in great position. And they've been smart attacking the offensive glass. And he knocks down the first one. A different look here for Detroit. Stewart checked in for Duran. And it's Thompson in for Harris. And the Raptors also making a change. Ananobi's checked in. He hits both from the strike. And so it's Trent with it. He brings it up for Toronto. Here he goes. Boom. He jams it straight down. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. So it's the Pistons now after the Raptors pick up two. Here's Stewart. Kept alive. No good there. And you know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. Achua, great positioning on the putback. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Here's Ivy. It's rebounded by Ananobi. Ananobi's got his fourth rebound in this one. Barnes kicks to Trent. Back to Barnes. To tie it up. And it's good on the layup. Barnes has got it all tied up now for Toronto. And great intensity here down the stretch. He's not one to shrink in the moment. Now take a look at him. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. That's going to be a big morale booster. And you know what? It could come down to those second chance buckets when it's all said and done today. Well, especially in a close game, every possession matters. Now here's Barnes. Over Thompson. Barnes can't get it to go. And that's how you want to see defense play. Got right up in his face to bother the shot. That's going to make any scorer uncomfortable when you get that aggressive. And the Raptors call time here. They're behind by four. 139 left here in the fourth quarter. present our New Balance player of the game, Jalen Duran. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. 
David. Hey, Kevin, able to listen in on what Darko Ryakovic was going over with his team. Now, he talked about keeping confidence. He said, this game is close, but we know we're the better team. Now it's time to go out there and prove it. See if they can come back in this one, guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. Now, here's Ivy. Following the miss by Pascal Siakam. That's a two from Cunningham. And right on target. Good. Now it's a six-point Piston lead. And Cade Cunningham stepping up in a big moment for this squad. Siakam against Stewart. Siakam high post. That shot off. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Detroit making a switch here. Durin's checked in. And that's an intentional foul. First one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And Cunningham with that number one selection. Lots of expectations for him, so a steep learning curve to get to the level that he wants to play at. But he's got a great work ethic, and he's going to give you his best effort every night. Siakam, high post. Stewart on him. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. They get it back. And it's good for two. Stewart's got the lead up to 10 now for the Pistons. This arena was rocking throughout the night. You, you could really feel the energy. A yeah, huge motivation, always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. And so Detroit takes this one by a big margin. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And that about wraps it up for Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. See you later.